Hey, this is Todd with Long Dogs and Firewood Logs. Um, getting ready to take a little different tack today just because we have to. It's a wood yard kind of tie in today, but uh, we're going down the rabbit hole. I'll tell you how. So when I go out in the woods, I've got this old trailer that uh, is uh, converted into, uh, well, it's a truck bed converted into a trailer. But I've always had lighting issues. And when I'm out in the woods, I really don't care. But there are times I have to haul stuff around. And uh, when I'm going on the highway, obviously, I need the lights to work consistently and do it well. So I've got a couple of loads. A friend of mine uh, is going to take, and I offered to take him to his place. It's going to be a half hour, 45 minute drive, you know, and I'll have one load in the back of the F 150 here. And then I'll have another load in the trailer. I know. I'm mixing my Fords and my Chevys together. And what can I say? Got a driveway full of Fords, but <laughs> the, uh, the trailer came at the right price and it's good for what I need it for. I got some good tires on it. Picked them up at a junkyard, uh, really good tread. And uh, they were takeoffs after a wreck. But today I'm gonna be wiring, uh, wiring up the trailer. So, I've already started. I've run this flat four wire cable down uh, through the inside of the frame of the trailer. And uh, that's what I'll be hooking on to and make my pigtail to the vehicle out of that. And now I'm working up here. So these guys are coming off the original truck harness. And one goes over here to the driver's side turn light and the other goes to the other so I'm gonna to have to splice all these onto this flat four and that's the connection I'll be doing so I'll take a break from you for a minute and we'll uh, we'll start uh, getting some splices ready yep well I ought to tell you I'm not an electrician and I'm not a mechanic I dabble in them uh, doesn't mean I'm any good at it, but anyway, starting to get this figured out and uh, making some progress. Had to switch to the bifocal goggles here to uh, do a little uh, grinding for a ground and uh, making room for that in the back end here. And then I'll be moving up to the front end of the trailer. So basically there's four wires that go into this terminal. And uh, this is going to be the one for the male uh, end on the truck. Uh, but the same idea goes for the, uh, the other end on the uh, trailer side. Uh, the white is going to be the ground. Uh, green is your right turn signal. Yellow left turn signal. And then the brown goes to the uh, uh, taillights uh, parking, parking light. Uh, here on the back of the F-150, just got the flat four. So the one on the far left over here, that's going to be a ground. That's the one that has a little black prong on it. And then the other three, these are kind of uh, corroded. I'll have to get some spray in there and a little, little wire brush, clean them out. But that should help. Thanks to a mechanic neighbor friend, uh, we kind of figured this whole thing out. Uh, since the ground inside the original harness for the truck could be kind of grody up inside the uh, the lens housing that area uh, we decided to put a uh, a ground on up here so we polished that all up and then put a uh, loop washer on that or a loop terminal on it and heat shrink with the adhesive in it make it somewhat uh, weather resistant we got the brown to the brown the dark green to the dark green and the yellow to the yellow 
Uh, there's a black wire up in there. That's for the uh, license plate light. And uh, in Minnesota, trailers are licensed with a sticker, not a plate. So we don't need that. And then the two green wires are for backup lights. I'm going to be using this mostly in the woods. And uh, when I do out on the road, it's going to be forward. And I hope not to be backing on the road at all. So mostly I need my turn signals and my brake lights and, uh, you know, the night lights, running lights. So uh, that's the rear end. Uh, got a couple wire ties on here to kind of secure that little loop in case I ever have to rewire it or somebody does. So we'll wire tie on up along the frame, kind of stabilize it up in there a few spots. And then we'll go up front and work on the front uh, wiring harness. Now we're going to get the heat gun and uh, I'm going to shrink wrap these connections. We live in Minnesota, so in the winter there's a lot of salt and there's a lot of wet, icy. So using the shrink wrap with the adhesive inside, hopefully give us a good seal. Got a good bite on all these. They didn't quite line up as I'd like, but that's okay. They'll get the job done. To get this part done the next step will be hook her up to the truck and test all the lights should be pretty good i imagine we're we're going to have some good success here so a little more heat on these bad boys shrink them up good and tight This end was easy, green to green, yellow to yellow, brown to brown, white to white. Whoever had this trailer before me had spliced in so many times and mixed colors and the wire that was running down the frame was, it was all pretty, uh, pretty brittle. If you try to bend it, it would just crack right up. Big thanks to my neighbor down the way. He's been a mechanic for probably 30 years, had his own shop, did a lot of tractor work, but then he also uh, worked on things like snow plows, all the way down to chainsaws, and did a lot of rewiring of different uh, vehicles. This one's being a little obstinate, and they're all a little warm. All right. Looks pretty good. I got my links off a little bit, so it doesn't lay perfectly flat, but I think uh, we can get some, get some black tape on there and tape will cover a, a few uh, small airs. So, I cut down trees, I split firewood. Today, I'm doing a little electrical work on, on trailer. But here's what I really do, taping. My day job, I'm an athletic trainer and have been for 36 years. I uh, got a few more years to go, I think. I work in a sports medicine clinic now. I used to work with high school athletics. I've worked with professional athletes. I've worked with a lot of collegiate athletes over the years. Done a lot of rehab along the way, but I've taped a lot of ankles too. 
put on quite a few ice packs over the years as well, but um, that's, that's what I'm master at. The rest of this is more hobby and just necessity to make the, uh, the whole firewood thing work. And uh, happy to share it all on YouTube with you guys. So there's my final harness on the front end of the trailer. I've got an extra long cable here on it. Now all I have to do is go wire tie a little bit more down the frame and we'll uh, test her out. Okay, so we got her all hooked up to the truck. My wife's climbing in. And uh, start her up. Left turn signal. Okay, right turn signal. Brakes. Okay. Thank you. So we must have a bulb out on the left side. So I guess we'll have to address that. Okay. After rewiring the rear of the truck as well, which was terribly created, corroded, now the left turn signal works. Right turn signal works. Brake lights work. And the running lights are on. So after uh, doing... Uh, <laughs> several hours of uh, rewiring the trailer i had to replace a bulb on the uh, left turn signal on the uh, trailer and redo the uh, pigtail on the end of the truck now we got it going 